Hi, my name is Name Taken. If you know me, it's probably for my fighting game related content. However, recently I have been making a ton of anime stuff. If you're subscribed to me, you probably know that. I'm sorry, but it's just something that I've been really thinking about doing for a long time, and I decided to just do it. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry, but I hope you will like that content just as much as my fighting game content. And yeah. Um, but anyway, today I wanted to take a look at this video, which is the new character trailer for uh, Tekken 7, Lydia Sobieska. She is the Prime Minister of Poland, and she practices karate. And damn, um, I have seen a part of this uh, trailer, but then I decided to record myself um, getting reactions for it. So I'm just going to skip to the point where I started, um, where I left off, which is pretty much just after the... Um, this portion here and I just wanted to first off finish the trailer uh, we'll, watch, I'm sorry. we'll finish the trailer and then do a little bit of analysis on the things that I see that I think are interesting um, so yeah let's just get into it Peggy 16. This is going to be a cool stage. I already like the lighting on it. And I hope it's similar to, uh, what do you call it? To Noctis' stage where it changes with, the, the time changes as you progress in the match. I think that's a cool idea. She's a badass. Alright, this is where I left off. She looks fairly spicy. There, there are definitely a few things that I noticed that I want to talk about. And something that I might be a little bit problematic. Or not problematic, but a little rule breaking. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now, first off, let me let me just say, she looks damn spicy. She looks really, really good. Um, her de animations are really well designed. There are some things that I want to go over though that might be a bit interesting here. So uh, the very first thing is. Um, her stance. Now, we've only seen very few moves from her stance so far. I think she, I've only seen two moves from her stance. Um, she might actually have more. Um, the way that her stance transitions reminds me a lot of Leo's stances. I think she actually has two, because I think we see... That's one stance transition. And then she has one I saw here earlier, before the wall break. Here. So we go stance to stance, you can see here. She goes. 
You can see here she goes into the other stance that we looked at earlier, which I actually don't know what the stance is in karate. Um, I don't know what it's called. Uh, but but then she goes out into arms forward here, like this. And that's, um, I only know what this is called in Wing Chun. I don't know what's actually called, or what this, what the way this hand is positioned. I don't know what, what it's called in karate. I wish I knew more about it. But um, what's interesting is that it goes stance to stance. And the only other character that I know that does it in this way uh, specifically in this sort of motion is Leo. So I'm hoping that she plays similarly to Leo, but not exactly the same. There are definitely some other things that I thought was a bit um, interesting other than this. But you can see that a lot of her attacks have blue sparks, which is super interesting because that means that she has unique inputs um, for some of her attacks or timing specific things like Horan Skyrocket um, or Omen God Fist or like um, Blue Spark Omen God Fist from. Um, um, hey, Hachi, or Julia's, um, was it down forward three, two, one, three, two, one? I think it is down forward three, two, one. I actually don't remember. Um, but if it's like Julia's, it's not a timing in a specific thing. It's a unique input uh, specific thing. Um, or who knows? Maybe, maybe it's not input timing or not, not input timing, not like I'm trying to think of the way to say it. But anyway, she has a lot of moves that Blue Spark, which is um, pretty unique. Most characters only have one move that Blue Sparks, but she has a ton that can. And I'm very curious to see what are the different properties. Maybe it makes them... But with the amount of that she has, I, I don't think that it would be something like uh, make a move that is minus plus, but what if it requires you to get those um, timing... or those very hard... Um, execution heavy uh, moves and makes it so that they are safe on block um, I hope they're not all plus um, because there is a lot of them um, I'm hoping what it does is that the blue spark is what you, you're supposed to do and that'll keep you safe similarly to how you do, when you do electric wind god fist uh, it's safe it's um, plus two and you are um, you're positive and it pushes them back on block. However, if you go with a normal wind god fist, you're minus 10, which is uh, punishable by jabs. Um, and yeah. So yeah. That's another, the other interesting thing that I saw here. Um, however, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was she has three parries? Does she have three parries? Um, I, I saw two. I, I, I don't there and then there's another move here in this part right here that I, I'm questioning right here this move right here oh no right here she punishes this string which is usually unpunishable with that move and the way that he moves back it looks like he blocked Th this looks like if Paul were blocking um, an attack but just look at this move. <laughs> you can't punish that. You can't punish that in the middle of the attack. It's unpunishable. That you the only, I think you can't <laughs> You can hear like just how much this is making me just go like what the fuck? But yeah, um what I think about this move is that this is the rule breaking move that I'm thinking of. Um the only person who has a move that would be fast enough to punish that would be like if it was like somehow if it was if Yoshi was off axis in that hit and he was able to flash it <laughs> but she's able to go directly into this move and punish this and it also blue sparks it blue sparks too I don't know what why <laughs> Oh, actually, there's another stance after here. So, she have three stances so far? There's so many questions I have. Um, one thing that I note that is interesting about her hop kick is that it's actually a screw launcher and not a normal launcher. 
Um, it's that's very similar to Bob's new launcher from season four. As you can see here, when she goes for the hop kick, you see that it's it it goes directly into screw. It doesn't do a proper launch. But it looks like she's able to go straight into a stance. But because it goes straight into screw launch, I don't know if you can how much damage you can actually get off of it. Because the thing that you trade off with having what with giving like okay, so the re Bob used to uh, used to not have a 15 frame launcher, and he finally got one in the form of a screw launcher. The reason why it's a screw launcher and not a normal launcher is because Bob can do ridiculous amounts of damage by limiting how much uh, how many hits he can get in a combo by making it a screw launcher. Um, makes it so that he does less damage with it and it's not his it's definitely does less damage than his other options um even though he does have really powerful combos the the downside is that he doesn't have a fast launcher but now that he does that launcher itself doesn't net you a, a great amount of damage so i'm very curious if her damage is going to be high enough to compensate for having a screw launcher and we also don't we haven't seen i haven't seen a down forward too i don't see her in this video ever do a down forward two or maybe she did do her down forward two and she doesn't have a down forward two launcher and the next interesting here is this this part here um she does have another high she has a punch parry i think it might be a, a high parry or a punch parry i'm not exactly sure um however What's interesting about this one is that the way that the parry animation looks, it's very similar to Hermit Stance um, with, um, what do you call it, with Leroy, who after he does that, he has a guaranteed follow-up. And you can see here she does seem to have a guaranteed follow-up, but what I'm curious to know is that, what I'm, what I'm very curious is that, is it is that our only option? Because from what I can tell, she has some other crazy stuff as well. And if this is like Hermit Stance, then... Hold on, let me just see this one more time before I say that. No, okay, never mind. I'll just say, is it because of a stance? It doesn't look like it's a stance. It, look, it looks like it's she, has to, she inputs it as a parry and not as a stance change. I'm really hoping that actually this move... Um, this parry is specifically for punches um, and can, um, and not for kicks um, because she really, she really has um, a high, um, another high move that can specifically block um, during the animation and punish strings that are not normally, sh uh, normally punishable. If this is a all high parry, I would be kind of upset. Um, she that would have too many options. I'm hoping specifically this is uh, only high punch uh, parry. Okay, that move looks interesting. That looks like Kazumi's run uh, wall running too. And then she immediately goes into a low parry. Which this one is basically exactly Hermit Stance. <laughs> that that wall string looks really cool. The thing I want to no say with all these new characters in Tekken, they don't seem to have very unique wall combos anymore. Um, th this wall combo is m is so boring. Basically, all these new characters' wall combos are, no, are aren't like are basically just do this one string and you'll get multiple hits on the wall and you'll do big damage, like with uh, with like with Kunimitsu's down for uh, down two one one plus two. It's just it's just really boring. Like I want to see more like Kazuya's like uh, wave dash while standing four down forward one four one plus two. I want something like that. Something meaty, distinct and something that looks cool like when you just do a string at the wall it's really boring um i'm really hoping that's not what the optimal wall combo damage is uh uh, uh so yeah that is a very beautiful horse horse dance though okay okay wait a minute <laughs> okay so 
from here, after this, after this part, this looks like, uh, I think she comes off of a wall running for this. I'm hoping that's a wall running. It looks like it might have been off of a wall running. Uh, we I, we really don't know what she's doing before that. But I'm hoping, I, I think that's a wall running. And I would be okay be, if, with that because if it's plus, which is what I think it is, if it's wall running and it's plus, then that's okay. I'm fine with that. But we just saw another move where it looks like it's <laughs> from a stance. It, wait, this kind of looks like um like Julia's four three one, um, and this <laughs> look at him, look at Law. This looks incredibly plus. Okay, okay. So this move that he's doing, he this likes uh, this like thing that uh, that Law is doing, that's fourteen frames if I remember correctly. So and if that if they're matching the same speed, this is at least two frame plus two that that punch. Okay, so I think I think I do realize how to get around it though. I'm I'm just seeing it now. It actually looks like it hits high, so you could duck it, and it probably has long recovery. My bad. Let me just skip the thing. But I'm loving the way she looks. I think she is going to be top tier. That's basically just. Uh, that's basically this is basically Heihachi's rage art, a rage drive. She has two rage drives. Blue sparks again. This character looks complete. I don't see a downside to this character yet. But it's hard to always uh, know, like to try to figure that out early during the trailer. I'm hoping that she does have some significant downsides. I'm really hoping that maybe she's mis uh, missing some good punishers. Uh, maybe she doesn't have like uh, optimal punishers for maybe minus 14 um, and lower. I'm really hoping that something like that, maybe she can only get jabs if she is this um, like complete looking. That's what I'm hoping. Um, but yeah. Let's look at this rage art one more time. <sighs> she does look so spicy, though. I'm liking the color design, too. She's coming out on the 23rd. That's in two days. You better expect in two days I am going to be making a character, uh, like a, an overview of this character. I am definitely going to be um, playing some matches with her as well as trying to figure her out. Um, maybe I'll even do some combo analysis and try to figure out some optimal combos, but we'll see how that goes um, later on. Um, but yeah, that's Lydia Sobieska, um, and thanks for watching. See ya.